Namaste. Grand rising big cat air signs. Welcome or welcome back to Big Cat Astrology. Big Cat Wave. Libra, Aquarius, Gemini, Sun, Moon and Rising. The planetary hot topics to add to your almanac over the next seven days. On the 3rd of September, we have a new moon in Virgo. The new moon in Virgo is an ideal time for fresh beginnings, especially in areas related to attention to detail and practicality. Avoid scheduling surgeries or significant medical procedures around the new moon as the body's capacity for healing might not be at its peak. This is a powerful moment to set new realistic goals that require meticulous planning and organization. Focus on tidying up both your physical space and your routines, making room for new growth and opportunities. Virgo's influence encourages you to approach new projects methodically, paying close attention to detail. Use this new moon to establish a solid foundation for, for your future, laying the groundwork for long-term success. On the 4th, Mars enters Cancer, a transit that will last until the 22nd of October 2024. Mars is fall in Cancer, where its usual assertiveness is softened by Cancer's emotional and nurturing qualities. You may find yourself acting more on your feelings, especially in matters related to home and family and personal security. This is a time to channel your energies into creating a supportive and protective environment both for yourself and your loved ones. Be mindful of potential aggressive um, or passive aggressive tendencies as it can be challenging to express anger directly under this influence. While Mars in Capricorn might make it harder to make bold direct action, it also offers an opportunity to connect deeply with your inner motivations and focus on nurturing your emotional well-being. On the 5th, the moon in Libra is conjunct to Venus in Libra. The moon in, and Venus align in Libra, a sign where Libra, where Venus is at home, enhancing harmony, beauty and relationship dynamics. You'll feel a strong desire for peace and balance in your interactions, making it a perfect time to resolve any lingering conflicts with kindness and understanding. This transit is ideal for activities that bring beauty into life, whether through art, design or creating pleasant environments at home. Relationships are heightened. You may find yourself wanting to connect more deeply with loved ones, fostering an atmosphere of mutual respect and affection. Engage in social activities that bring joy and strengthen bonds with others, as this energy supports collaboration and togetherness. Enjoy the sense of ease and cooperation that comes with this transit, using it to enhance the harmony and balance in your personal life. On the 6th, Mercury in Leo squares Uranus in Taurus, creating potentials for sudden disruptive changes in communication and thought processes. Conversations might take unexpected turns with surprising news or ideas shaking up your usual way of thinking. This is a time to stay flexible and open to change even if it feels unsettling at first. Innovative ideas may surface. Be cautious of those that are too radical or ungrounded as they might not be practical in the long run. Try to avoid making hasty decisions, particularly regarding technology, finances or communication, as the impulsive energy of this transit can lead to big mistakes. Use this time to think creatively, but ensure your ideas are rooted in reality and have a clear, actionable plan behind them. On the 7th, the Sun in Virgo opposes Saturn in Pisces, highlighting a tension between practicality and idealism as well as personal goals and external obligations. You might feel weighed down by responsibilities that seem to conflict with your personal desires and aspirations. 
This is a good time to find balance between meeting your obligations and pursuing new goals. Even if it, even if it requires some, some form of compromise, Saturn's influence may bring a sense of limitation or challenge, but it also provides an opportunity to build something enduring and meaningful through hard work. Use this opposition to critically assess your plans and ensure that both they are both um, realistic and aligned with your current resources and capabilities. Although this transit may present obstacles, perseverance and a disciplined approach will help you navigate challenges and ultimately achieve your objectives. On the 8th, Phallus, representing wisdom, strategy, creativity and intelligence, moves into Sagittarius where it will remain until the 11th of November 2024. This transit encourages a broader perspective, urging you to seek out new, new knowledge, experiences and understanding. You may feel inspired to explore different philosophies, cultures or areas of study, expanding your horizons in meaningful ways. Phallus in Sagittarius supports strategic thinking and planning, particularly when it comes to long-term goals and visionary ideas. Take advantage of this energy to pursue new opportunities for learning and growth, whether through travel, education or personal exploration. Balance the adventurous spirit of Sagittarius, allowing it to guide you towards innovative solutions and creative approaches to your challenges. On the 9th, Mercury enters Virgo, where it is exalted, enhancing your analytical abilities, communication skills, and will be there until the 29th of September 2024. With Mercury exalted in Virgo, you're likely to find it easier to focus on details, making this a perfect time for tasks that require precision and careful thought. Communication becomes clearer and more effective with a heightened ability to convey complex ideas in a straightforward manner. Use this time to tackle projects that require problem solving, critical thinking and meticulous planning. As you are able to work more efficiently and effectively, this transit is also excellent for redefining your daily routines, improving your overall productivity, allowing you to accomplish more with less effort. Enjoy the sharp mental clarity and focus that Mercury and Virgo provides and take advantage of this period to make well-informed decisions. Please stay tuned in for the Tower Reading to follow. Big Cat Wave! Namaste! Grand Rising Big Cat Air Signs, welcome, welcome back to Frequency Phoenix 555 for messages for your next seven days. Libra, Aquarius, Gemini, Big Cat Wave. Let's dive right in and unpack. You have the energy of a five, darling dears. The energy of the one darling dear speaks of you having to make a major decision. Don't make that major decision until after the next new moon, which will be on the 3rd of September in Virgo, okay? Um, we also have the energy of the four. Um, your de decision could be around some form of communication, whether it's an email, writing a letter, making a phone call, all these these communications might be coming towards you, darling dears, but you will definitely be making an important decision after the 3rd of September, 
2024. Mm -hmm. So the energy of the five darling dears. Um, oh, I just had a brain fart then. Excuse me, Marcy will play. The energy of a five darling dears. It speaks about someone having an issue with debt. Okay, debt issues within a marriage. Um, possibly a marriage where there's no children involved. It could be a second marriage or no children on both sides, darling. It's what definitely somebody having some issues with debt. Maybe this is what your decision is going to be around, darling, dears. Mm -hmm. 100% energy of the five is problems at home, darling, dears. Okay. The energy of the five, you could be a life path five or the number five, 14 or 23 will be prevalent to you over the next seven days the number five is ruled by mercury mercury rules gemini as well as virgo so it's in information so it's information about your communication style dears higher education um taking short journeys um it's also about self-expression darling dears as well as um how you express yourself over the tv the phone um libra energy is about having fairness and balance in a relationship because libra represents your one-to-one -one relationships so the letter five is represented by um, E, N and W and Mercury represents E, H and X. So it tells me that you are a free spirit at this moment in time. You've learned some major life lesson, darling dears, coming out of this situation more wiser. Mm -hmm. It's about utilising your intellect going forward. Your luckiest days will be Wednesday, Friday and Sunday, your luckiest numbers will be 1, 5 and 7. Um, it's represented by the astrological aspect of a quin cut. So you've been going through some form of stressful situation, darling dears. But remember, a quin cut means quick change is afoot. Mm -hmm. It also speaks about this constructive freedom that you've created for yourself. Definitely travel is going to be highlighted for you over the next seven days, darling dears. Okay. It's about you remaining versatile and adaptable. This is about you taking in the lessons that you've learned and using them in a constructive manner in order to go forward. Mm -hmm. Okay. According to the Loshu grid, the number five is, is dead smack in the middle, darling dears. This is your good fortune center. center. It's represented by Earth energies, Capricorn, Taurus, Virgo, and it represents the colors yellow as well as um, Earth tones. Okay, so the Earth energy tells me that this reading is going to be about your about your career, um, the material aspects of your life, your finances, business, as well as your possessions. The energy of the five itself speaks about conflict and confusion, darling dears. A lot of instability around you. This is what is creating the change that you're going through at this moment in time. Mm -hmm. Wanting to be more adventurous with your mind, your intellect and possibly moving your physical self, darling dears. It speaks about you being more motivated, feeling more creativity flowing through your veins, darling dears. Mm -hmm. Why? Because change is most definitely afoot. It's definitely going to be breaking up your routine, darling dears. Change is most definitely going to be happening for you over the next seven days. It also speaks about your unending talent. You being able to tap into your talents, whatever that creativity is for you. Okay. You're going to be socializing more, having more fun, darling dear. So it's also um, um, networking is going to be going very well. Why do I say that? On top of the dice, we have a 11. 11 is Aquarius energy as well as Uranus, darling dears. And that speaks about your groups, um, clubs you belong to. Maybe you're forming a club, darling dears. The energy of the 11th house is money from an employer or you owing money to an employer, darling dears. It's either money coming in or going out, darling dears. All right. The 11th house also speaks about um, electricity. So definitely something going on for you online, darling dears. Something going on with your social media over the next seven days. Okay. The energy of Mercury itself, it's about, it also involves your um, your older siblings. Why is this going on? I went out today and I forgot to put this on. Oh my God, those steps can never be counted again. Oh, I've got to let it go and press on, darling dears. Press on as only a big cat can. Fist bump. 
Anyway, as I was saying before, I interrupted myself. So definitely going to be utilizing your intelligence with your writing, your memory, your creating something. It also speaks about your communication going very, very well. Okay, within a situation. Mm -hmm. Okay, and if you are going for any form of, I don't know, doctor's visit involving your nerves, your lungs, your shoulders, um, your arms, your hands. Make sure that you don't go on a new moon or a full moon because your healing won't be at its peak at those times. Okay. So you've got the energy of the 11 on the side. You've got a 5 and a 9. So definitely the culmination of the situation. You're in manifestation mode. This, where you are right now, having learned this life lesson, darling, dear, fate is taking a hand on your life. Okay. Let's carry on. Let's carry on. Do we go for a deck or do we go straight? I'm going to go for a deck quickly. Mm, okay. So most definitely a warning, darling dears. I said there may be troubles with an issue within the home. Okay. Could be involving debt. Someone in within your home is possibly not lacking the direction that you want to go in, darling dears. Listen, some people you've got to come loose. Come loose. Ha <laughs> ha. Yeah. Self-love first. So somebody may have to leave a situation because of debt they bought to the situation. And the cards are saying, yes, it is. Okay, so you're dealing with someone who's skullduggers with the with the pocket change, darling dears. A spendthrift. Oh, okay. Let's press on. Let's press on. Let's get the Oracle Ancestral message. Ancestral message to the air signs. Feel right off the back end, darling dears. Miracles are happening in your life, darling dears. It's like divine is giving you a proverbial genie in a lamp. It's about you rubbing it the right way, darling dears. Mm -hmm. It's about you what tapping into your deepest wishes, your wants, and no longer your needs. Mm -hmm. We've got a waxing gibbous moon in the background, darling dears. This speaks about you. Um observing making observations and making sure that your observations are aligning with what the universe wants to give to you and it also speaks about with waxing the moment is momentum is building darling dears so you're building up to something that's going to be like a miracle in your life okay this reminds me of the magician as well as the hermit darling dears magician is about being in a situation where you was isolate the hermit is about you having the tools but it's also about you having the confidence that you have the tools darling dears self-love is when you do the what that awful shadow work that that shadow work is some nasty work darling dears but once you do that the self-love is always there for self mm -hmm. leaving behind some a situation where there's no true direction and warning signs are going off yeah, somebody tried to keep you in a box. They wanted you locked up in a box, darling dears. Unable to move, afraid to move. But we see a path, darling dears, and it's the yellow brick road. Yeah, follow the yellow brick road, darling dears. It will lead to your, your deepest dreams, your wants and your needs. Utilising the energy of Mercury as you continue over the next seven days. Mercury is about being logical, darling dears. Yes, you're going to be making judgments on situations, but it's for the betterment of you. Mm -hmm. Mercury is ruled by Archangel Raphael Call him at any time Something to do with your sense of smell You're smelling wrong things darling dears I, You brought so many things to my mind I don't even want to think about it Let, Let's press on we'll Press on Base of your deck darling dears You're leaving someone out in the cold And it's about a debt as well darling dears Good golly and gosh Listen the cards ain't playing today You're keeping your circle tight and right Mm-hmm this feels like moving in silence, darling dears. Mm -hmm. The Five of Pentacles speaks about being isolated within a situation, a situation that is, you've lost a lot of finances, darling dears. It could be you putting into a situation, you may have progeny involved, but whoever you're dealing with, darling dears, they didn't care about the fact that whatever they was doing, they didn't care that you had children. This could be in a business partnership, it could be in a love relationship, darling, or well, if they listen. Love is patient, love is kind, yeah? All right, we'll press on. We shall press on. Mm -hmm. Somebody's tired of this situation. They're feeling a lot of bad health in a situation, lots of arguments. And somebody's feeling as though their time has expired in this relationship, whether it's business or a love relationship or even a friendship. 
Somebody's had enough, mate. They've had enough. They have had enough. <laughs> Good job. Tell me about your relationships over the next seven days. What's falling out? We have the King of Wands, darling, dears. This book speaks about you being highly intuitive. It also speaks about you following in your highest mind moving forward. The King of Wands is looking back into the past. Yeah, looking back into the past when you had to what? Make a move. And it also speaks about the sudden changes that are coming towards you. Definitely a movement card. The King of Wands is someone who is a natural born leader, darling, dears. Someone who people will look up to. Okay. If you're a father, you are a very good father in a situation, but the situation wasn't working for you. And again, this is showing loss of money. You could be a father or a mother in a situation. Okay. But this situation is about to change. This is like the energy of a Queen Cuck style in this. Nothing, nothing stays the same. Everything changes one way or the other. Someone is definitely leaving. It could be a job. It could be a romance relationship, darling, dears. Yeah, I'm broken. Listen. You're leaving the skull Douglas behind, darling, dears. This was an abusive situation. And you wasn't even utilizing your full mental capacity in that situation. Mm -hmm. So as one door closes, another one opens. Someone is definitely watching you from the past. If this is not your progeny, okay? One of the parents in this situation, if it is a family, one of the parents is definitely missing from the situation. Always looking for the father who's up to whatever a dig dealing mattress back does during the week, darling, dears. Okay, that's a message for someone. But you're definitely leaving a situation. Money, it's not even about the money. The money could be good, darling, dears, but not all good money. All money is good money, darling, dears. Most definitely leaving a situation. A lot of confusion, darling, dears. A lot of confusion, but clarity is definitely coming towards you. situation it's about regret remember regret is not remorse darling dears on the king of wands we have the queen of swords darling dears you're making a firm decision it also speaks about no one being able to pull the wool over your eyes the decision that you make is going to put you on a new road for opportunities darling dears whether it's a job or business it could also be my ring bearing card in this particular case it's opposites attracting darling dears okay but definitely opportunities coming towards you, Ace of Pentacles, in the upright, I might add. It's also a reminder for you to continue to focus on your stability, darling, dears. Clarify the Ace of Wands as far as friendships are concerned. You're going to get good news. Or oh, Soul Tribe are coming in. We've got two progenies on the table. We may have two children involved in this situation. You've got good news coming in pertaining to some form of travel, darling, dears. It's going to seem as though the money came from nowhere. No, God gave it to you, darling, dears. You're meant to go on this journey, okay? Mm -hmm. Utilizing your intellect in this situation. Ten of Pentacles, we've got the Hermit in reverse. We outside, darling, dears. We outside. <laughs> Whatever you was isolating yourself from, darling, dears. You outside. Good news could also, as I said, be Soul Tribe coming towards you, darling, dears. Making new friends. Yeah, chariot energy. It also speaks about, on one hand, somebody failed an exam, darling, dears. You failed an exam, but it was for the betterment of you because you had to move towards something better. It was also about you knowing your worth and adding tax to it. Yeah. It also speaks about someone may have tried to keep someone stuck in a situation based on religion or spirituality. Yeah, but skeet, skeet. You're definitely moving away from this situation, darling, dears. Moving to better things. You want the right justice in the situation. It's in the upright. It's going to create a painful ending for some, but it's what you truly deserve. You hold the sword of truth as far as a friendship, a love ship. You've now got the Queen of Wands. Tell me about the Queen of Wands. The Queen of Wands is under judgment, darling, dears. The Queen of Wands is someone who utilizes whatever intuition they have to what? To F people over. If that was your friend, darling, dears. Mm -hmm. He was very much involved in the situation. If it was a partner, he was very much involved in that situation. This person or people would like to come back, whether that's male or female. Yeah, and put you straight back on that knife's edge. Mm -hmm. You remember the edge, yeah? Hey, hey, listen. This is a straight up and down narcissist, darling, dears. Read the room, shorty. 
Meet them where they are. What about your finances? All good in the hood, darling dears. As one door closes, another one opens. Remember, rejection is God's protection. Yeah, we the fortune plus the sun card. This is an this is someone putting the past behind them once and for all, darling dears. Somebody also buying a car. It also speaks about status, darling dears, moving forward. For others, this is travel. You're gonna be having making some kind of travel plans. It could be involving progeny, your your children, darling dears. Yeah, tower moment. You avoid a scud missile with someone who was always disloyal to you, whether that's friendship, love, or whatever, darling dears. They was always disloyal. And when they was talking, it was about you, darling dears. We've got two queens on the table. That's not something to be played with. They are what? Merchants of slander. Your money is looking good going forward. Look, eight of pentacle. Continue to focus. It also speaks about awards as well as accolades. This is also the eighth house, other people's money. For some, this fated connection is you meeting somebody that is going to be going to cause you to what? To give the situation pause. Wanting maybe wanting to what? Pour into a situation, but you never pour from an empty cup, darling. Is you pour from a cup that is whole. Mm -hmm. Anything they bring to the table is a plus. But your money's looking good, darling. Is making firm decisions. Doing that nasty shadow work and realizing what's not for you, darling dears. When you clean up yourself in your life, darling dears, with your awakening, understanding, spirituality, or 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 however you get to that point, darling dears, certain things you just can't be around. You cannot. You can't. And when you realize people are just, all they're doing is talking about each other and arguing over it. Listen, you've got big, bigger fish to fry. Get great, darling dears. Final card. Yeah, somebody would love to come and offer up to the bullshit but we've got the king of pentacles this is about you mastering your emotions you're the wounded warrior but it also speaks about your tenacity some kind of offer is going to be bringing towards you darling dears this is the offer of what bad luck is this darling dears be careful there'll be problems within the home somebody wants to cause you a problem within the home darling dears see the abuse in the card itself and the moon in the reverse right and the money this problem is going to be involving money 100 percent. this listen you're gonna to have to wash your face like david if you've lent someone money you're never gonna see it again blood you should have kissed it goodbye when you gave it over never lend more than you can afford to lose wounded warriors yeah you're vigilant about being wounded again darling dears but it doesn't mean that you've closed off your heart your heart is still big king of cups moving forward yes a gossiping gossip, darling. There's someone, if they're a mother, they're no one's mother. If they're a father, mm -mm, they're for the streets, darling. There's, yeah, this person created a lot of wounds in you, but you made a head over heart decision. You chose you in that situation. That's why you're saying skeet, skeet. 100% doing shadow work, coming past the shadow, getting out of the DNS, the dark night of the soul. Yeah, with people that were uninitiated, no longer putting up with that, that low vibing energy. Yeah. You'll see your ships come in, darling dears, and they're going to be in your favour. But you have to leave what's in the past in the past 100%. This is what's going to bring you back into emotional alignment. Okay. Do we choose another deck? Yes, we're going to go with one more deck. Um, this one. Titan right, darling dears. So you can see the snakes. Mm -hmm. Good golly and gosh. Lots of keys. Cards just turned over. Right? The Phoenix Rising, darling. This is your Big Cat Chronicles. Continues. Love it. Moving towards abundance. This is abundance comes in many forms. Could be in peace of mind, darling. This the love of a true friend, a partner that's supportive, right? Going towards the right job, one that doesn't even feel like a job. It's something that you're passionate about, and you are also the butterfly, darling. This full on transformation for you. Mm -hmm. This is for you to remember that miracles can come true, darling. This, but self belief must be at the crux, at the core of everything be your biggest fan on that notes i drops me mic so love to my teesprings my patron on my tiktoks where i also upload videos thank you very much for your continued support of me and this chanel please don't forget to like subscribe and share with these messages with whomsoever you feel needs it and as i always say don't get smoked and don't smoke yourself from the ashes, baby. Namaste. Libra.
Aquarius, Gemini, make a wave until we meet again on these tarot streets. Cat, 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 cat.